Oh, hello. This is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life. I'm here to tell you about the Sun Dome 2. It's a two-person tent, three seasons. Figure you'll help me set it up, uh, take a look around it, and we'll figure out what makes it different than the other Sun Domes in the series. Thanks for watching. Like the whole Sun Dome series, the Sun Dome 2 is a three pole freestanding design with a rain fly. The Sun Dome 2 is 5 by 7. It comes with all the stakes you'll need. That's four at the corners, two for the tie outs, and one for the, for the vent. You're going to start with the poles. Pull them together as you go so you don't accidentally snap them off. Once you have two and a half poles sticking out, you just come down, slide that pin in the end like all the other sun domes. Then you go ahead to the next pole. get ice or dirt in the ends, you just use that pin, wheel it around inside and clean it out, and just slide up in there. Okay, since we're camping in winter, I've stomped out a nice snow patch. I'm gonna drag that to the center of it. I'm gonna grab a stake for each corner and stake it out. You wanna make sure you're pulling it tight, which the dog can help with, I guess and that your stakes are making it down at least into the layer of ice through the snow. Yeah, yeah come on. Good girl. There we go. Then you're gonna come back through and clip these corners. Your rain fly in the final pole. There's a pocket and some Velcro on the inside. You're just gonna use that to make the rain fly rigid and then strap it on top. When it straps on top, the point points out toward the door. These clips then hook into the rings where you stake where you put your stakes. Oh, don't hook these stakes. After you've got the hooks in, you're gonna go back in and do the velcro on the poles. And if you need it for the extra ventilation and the pullout rain coverage, you just pull out the rain fly. I'm using sticks and just stamping them right into the snow because it's winter and I can do that. And there you go, a nice cheap little light two person tent with a five minute setup. Holds me and my dog, me and my wife and I dog just fine. Uh, let's take a look at some of the features. There we go, that's our Sun Dome two-person tent. Five by seven footprint. I swapped the stakes out for sticks because the stakes are having a hard time in this ice and snow. Unlike the four-person, the two-person tent has that back flap, the air vent, just like the three-person. This one is in blue, but do not confuse it for the darkroom technology tent. The rain fly doesn't come nearly as low and the fabric isn't as thick. It doesn't block nearly as much light. Although it is only a three season tent because it's not going to be that extreme of weather, I generally use it as a four season tent. Trick is to keep the windows and vents open in the winter to get enough ventilation so it doesn't condensate too much. 
You can see our setup in there. The dog and her pad and quilt, and me and my pad and quilt and sleeping bag. Nice and cozy. My wife can also fit in there with us if she needs to, but she doesn't usually do it in the winter. I'll go ahead and show you the inside when we go to bed. Okay, now that it's nighttime and my fire's going out, it's time to get ready for bed. Someone's already ready for bed. We're gonna crawl in, talk a little bit more about the features of the Sun Dome 2 person, and a little bit more about using a three season tent and four season camping. The Sun Dome 2 person is a lot cozier, especially with a dog, than the four person. It features the same two windows as the other Sun Domes. It has two of these pockets, like the other Sun Domes. Unlike the Sun Dome 4, this one has a vent. The Sun Dome 3 also gets this vent, which is really nice for the fourth season of camping because the whole goal of four season camping is to keep ventilation. You're just trying to keep condensation down from the corners and the sides, so I also keep a rag around so that when I wake up, I'll just wipe the sides down real quick. Your tent's never gonna keep you warm. What keeps you warm? Sleeping bag, I have a zero degree bag, a quilt, and then I have a winter ground pad with another foam pad under it. The two person sun dome also has the lantern hanger where I hang a little glow tube. But I think Kara and I are gonna go to bed. We'll see you in the morning and talk a little bit more about how we like the two person sun dome. Night guys. Six hours later. Oh, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Sundome two person tent in the morning. You can see how much brighter it is in here than the dark room tent. Still has that bathtub floor that comes up the sides. The seams aren't quite as thick as the dark room tent. It's a great tent, though. Oh, good morning. Let's get back up and check the outside, see how it fared in the snow. Oh, good morning. You can see the condensation wasn't too bad last night. The one spot there's a little bit is down in this corner, and that's the corner I was directly breathing into. It didn't have really room to vent out, but it didn't even make it down onto the floor, so it's pretty good. Our wood stakes held much better than the metal stakes would have in this ice. Our buried stakes held well. The tents pulled tight. What you will notice when I pull it up is there's a divot down below the tent where we melted it out while we were sleeping. It causes, you know, shaky ground. It gets less comfortable as you sleep. So you might want to think about that while you're packing the snow down and digging it out. Things I don't like about the Sun Dome too. This rain fly is almost useless. I will frequently bring a tarp to put over this because it's lighter. It doesn't have this support, but it, it lightens you up and gives you a useful rain fly because this, if you get some wind, you're getting rain up in under here. The other thing is, this is a little heavy for a two-person tent. It's only a pound lighter than the three-person. So unless you really want to save that pound, I might just go with the three-person and have some extra room. The things I like are the things I like about all the Sun Dome tents. The, the wash floor bottom that keeps things going in, it's a thousand D fabric, it keeps water out. The, the ease of the setup, the poles and everything, the windows, the vents, it's a really well-vented tent. You don't get a lot of condensation as you saw this morning. It's a great tent. I love the Sun Dome series. Uh, maybe I'll do one on the Sun Dome 3. And now it's time to pack her in. There we go. That's it, man. Uh, I can make it a little smaller, but I don't usually care about how big it is on my way out. I'm just gonna go and throw it in my car and then unpack it at home anyway. But you know, if you like this video, if you like my dog, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe down there somewhere. It's been MI Adventure Life. Hope you enjoyed this gear video, guys. Thanks for watching.